Oh, good morning. Look. Hi, Thomas. <laughs> you say hi. He's just looking at himself. So cute. There we go. <clears throat> good morning from the two of us. And welcome to another episode of the marathon. My name's Mayor. Uh, today's Monday, and it's an exciting day because Thomas is getting an award at school this morning. <laughs> what? Amazing. So, I've rejigged my work day. Obviously, yes, I'll be there. Oh my god. Are you excited? You ready for school? Yes, yeah, so we're heading there. I'm wearing my little jumpsuit today, which I love because it feels like pajamas, but it looks very like put together. It's super cute. Little ruffs. Got it from something pretty, obviously. And uh, Bite Centrifolia is my lips. And now we're heading to school. Obviously, I couldn't film Thomas's award ceremony because there was a hundred thousand, not a hundred thousand, there was a few hundred kids. <clears throat> But it was the cutest thing ever. My heart is so warm. He got a commitment to learning award. Cutest thing. And like his teacher just said the nicest things. And I was, you know, for a few things, like it's amazing that he's included. And he does have an impeccable commitment to learning. So it wasn't just like his teacher thought, oh, I should include him. No, he earned it. And we all know that, which is amazing. And what also struck me was like each teacher went through and recognized a few kids in the class and I leaned over to a fellow parent and said I wish we did this in adulthood you know you're good at this and this and this I'm like this is amazing what a way to build them up and boost their confidence and I loved it I loved it so much so now I'm home and the name of the game today is productivity and focus because we have a huge week ahead of us. In fact, I'm gonna hold you while I work and talk and get some, I'm just gonna get a little snack together. I need to eat some more vegetables. I have a salad every night for dinner, but I need to eat more veg. So I'm gonna get myself some veggies together and have some hummus and then get to work. This is a really big, really big week for us. <clears throat> Thomas starts with a new therapist tomorrow and we're fin he's finishing at OSNS the next day. That is where he has been getting his autism therapy for four years, I think. And so, oh, that was a terrible sound, <laughs> sorry. Um, it's gonna be, a, it's a big change and I'm feeling good about it. This time last year, I was crying about it in meetings at OSN. I was like, please don't make us leave. <laughs> um, so we didn't, they were very nice and kept us for another year. I'm not saying because I cried in the meeting, I'm just, anyways. But I'm feeling much more calm about it this year. I'm feeling like he's ready, I'm ready, we're ready for change. And they've done everything they can for him and they've changed our life hands down 100%, so nothing has been more life-changing than OSNS, that's for sure. Yeah, so just a lot going on this week. In the Marathon or Facebook group, I was asking you last night like what your word for the week would be and your intention, and mine were calm, focused, and present. And that's what we're going, that is the name of the game for this week and today. So I am going to keep myself focused, eat some veg, I'm gonna sit on my deck and do some work. I'm making lunch and I thought I would show you what I'm having. So this giant bowl is packed with spinach. I brought again, We're, we've seen it, it's, it's over. Giant, like probably two or three cups of spinach and I'm gonna eat it. But you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna nuke it, yeah. If I had more time, I would put it on the stove and like saute it because 
that is a really good way to get lots of spinach heated up because all the water gets sucked out. I know you're probably gonna say some of the nutrients too, but I just ignore that. And um, if you eat spinach cooked, you'll be shocked. I'll show you how much that's gonna like um, reduce to. So I'm gonna have that with, oh, in the pod edamame. I thought it was already shelled. Anyway, I'm about to boil some edamame because it has nine grams of protein in half a cup, so that's gonna be my protein for lunch. And then also in the microwave is some rice. If you're like a microwave is the devil person, you're gonna not be here for this lunch, I'm sorry. Sometimes a woman's gotta do what a woman's gotta do. And then for the seasoning, I kinda just wanna use salad dressing. And I found um, like a third of a Coke Stevia in my fridge. I'm gonna guess it's a few weeks old. I'm gonna drink that. So I'm feeling good. I'm having like spinach and edamame and rice for lunch. Then I'm totally gonna have a piece of cheesecake because when I was at IGA on Saturday night, rip roar on Saturday night, their day at cheesecakes were like $3 off. It's like, Colin, how dare you? That's the owner. <laughs> how dare you put cheesecake on sale? Because obviously I'm gonna buy it. It's dairy free, it's gluten free but it tastes just like cheesecake, and it's so good. So I'm gonna have that with some fruit as well for lunch. Um, what else to tell you about? Can I just, this is the rice, which I've talked about a zillion times. It's just like fried rice, again from IGA, you get it in the um, frozen section, it's super good. Here's the final product. You can see the spinach, like that doesn't look like there's much in there. I also added uh, fresh garlic, and some fresh ginger. And this is the salad dressing I went for, this Little Creek Okanagan Caesar. And in case you're wondering, this is the cheesecake I'm talking about. Wow. This is the only day of product I like, BT Dubs, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Just a casual Monday lunch. <laughs> A new playlist feeling, man. Woo. Just added a new playlist to my Apple Music. You can follow me, Redhead Mare. There's a few on there, including the one that you guys made. It's called For the Marathoner. This one is called Good For What, I think. Alicia and I actually had this huge conversation on Friday. We talked about many things. Yes, we did. But about like finding new music and like looking at the, you know, top 40 or whatever and like listening to new stuff. And she and I both like separately but simultaneously used to do that all the time like I used to love looking at the top lists on iTunes and then downloading stuff and listening to it and I just haven't in the last while I love Apple music but so I made a point of doing that today and a lot of it I am too old for that is popular right now or I am not it's not appropriate <laughs> But there is some that I added, so if you want to see that new playlist, it is up on my Apple Music. Oh, I only have 31%. We're going to have to charge my phone a bit before we go to the gym. That was poor planning. Shoot. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to drive around for a little bit. Do you have any music that you're liking right now? Any new stuff? Let me know. I know lots of you said, we just like to watch Thomas while you drive. Enjoy. Can we just take a moment for empty sinks? Cause it's not gonna be here for very long. So this is the award winner in my house. Yep. 
and the beginnings of supper, the salad. That's what she looks like after the gym, the gym. <sighs> Y'all, my shoulder is so sore. Um, I don't know what I've done to it. I think it's just stress and who cares, it hurts. And my neck hurts, so I think I'm gonna book another massage. But I feel really good about the fact that I went to the gym and what I did, and then I did 35 minutes of cardio, so I'm feeling awesome about that. Yeah. And Thomas is home and doing good, making us some sups, and then I have to do a really like yeah. sweep tidy of the house because his new therapist is coming to the house tomorrow. Would you like to say hello? Hey yo, can you say hi? Hi. So, um, thanks for watching. Please lace up and become a marathoner. Subscribe to my channel. Life's not a sprint, it's a marathon. And in the marathon, we like to tell each other when we do things well. That's your like mission for today. If you're watching this video and there's still some today left or tomorrow, tell someone that they're doing something good. Compliment someone. And not just like, well, you could just say like nice butt, but you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> you're really good at X, Y, and Z. Like, let's build each other up, shall we? There's enough people trying to freaking tear you down. Am I right? Am I right? <laughs> Surround yourself with positivity, babes supporting babes. Or dudes supporting dudes and babes and all of us. Okay, this needs to be dealt with. I might just put it on the floor. Pretty sure that's what's gonna happen. Yep. I'll deal with it tomorrow. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. And you have a nice butt. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.